What's going on, YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Going to show y'all another uh, kit that we got in the shop this week. These are uh, what I've shown you this week are some of the new releases by Revell. Uh, these are, uh, this is the 66 uh, Chevrolet Malibu SS 2 in 1. What really uh, caught my eye on this kit, if, uh, many of you that's been in the hobby for a while, uh, if you get to looking, you know what uh, you know what's coming out right now. These are probably uh, the, probably the second. I think this is about the third pop of this uh, particular kit. The original kit was a uh, was a monogram kit. It was the black box art had the tilt front uh, front end on it, and this is the same thing. But Ravel has taken it and kind of. Uh, done some things with it. Uh, just uh, I've already opened up the kit, so we're going to start dissecting in it, and I'm going to show you all uh, everything in it uh, here just in a second. Some of the things that I looked at uh, in the kit and some of the things that catches my eye, my, I'm a muscle car guy. I like the old muscle cars from the you know, mid-60s up into the 70s. But this one right here is uh, one that has, uh, and it sports a, a, a 427 big block engine. So... I always, if I'm building a, you know, whenever I'm building a, you know, muscle car or something like that, I always want to put a big block in it. So this one already comes with the big block as part of the kit. So from what I look, what I'm seeing so far, it's an awesome looking little uh, engine. Let's set this out of the way. Let's start opening up the box. First thing that I pull out, of course, is going to be the... Uh, um, it'll be the, uh, the, the glass, uh, glasses. I always leave the glass in the bag. I never take the glass out even when I do an unboxing, but everything looks good here. It's all one piece front and rear, uh, got your separate, uh, uh, separate headlights. And, uh, these look like the rear marker lights. So uh, we'll, we'll throw those over here in this. <clears throat> the next thing to come out, is going to be the body and, uh, just a great looking body uh this is a i don't see any flash on it so far everything is pretty crisp uh, as far as the uh, badging right here in the rear as well as on the front good crisp badging uh don't see any mold lines yet so but uh, always that uh, you know you got to always sand these front quarters uh along that fender line right there that's all i see if i do see one mole uh, the mole line right here coming off this uh, rain gutter pour it down through here so a little bit of sanding will always take care of that so looks good it's a great looking body uh, my mind's starting to whir <laughs> starting to go hmm especially with that tilt front end that's always been a uh, that's always been one uh, that's caught my eye in the years uh, that I've been doing this the, uh, the next thing to come out is going to be the uh, interior tub. Uh, no separate door cards. It looks like it's got the molded in detail. So a lot can be done uh, in this right here, but just a, you know, standard. Uh, just not a whole lot of detail on the door card, so, but just, uh, just got to do a little bit of work and detail wash, things like that. Got all your, uh, your wheel backings, radiator here uh looks like oh yeah i got a nice set of uh, side pipes right here so um that'll be uh that'll be something to look forward to uh if either with this build or somewhere somewhere else down the line put that to the side let's pull out the next thing of course it's the uh tires uh these are just uh you got some big you know big big ones in the back and little ones in the front so just standard you know just your standard uh, uh rubber tires that Ravel sends out Next out of the box is going to be the uh, the frame, uh, which is really looks good. This is a great looking frame. Uh, a lot of detail to it. It's not a separate, but it's a molded in frame right here. So can do a lot with that. Got a molded in gas tank, and uh, everything looks pretty pretty pristine here. No no molds, uh, no mold, uh, you, know, you know, flash anything like that. Got the uh, the front uh, uh, firewall. Here's your engine half. Now, I am I already see one problem right there, uh, which it's uh, your engine block uh, halves. You got a molded in uh, starter. You got your <laughs> you got your uh, your radio, uh, your oil pan is already molded into it, uh, and you're going to have that middle seam line down through there. So you got a little bit of 
Got a little bit of sanding to do right there, so not happy about that. Uh, as far as the uh, engine right here, you've got a solid uh, engine mount that goes, you know, across the uh, uh, across the engine bay right here. So that's uh, got a molded in water pump. So just like I say, a little bit. These, now the headers, uh, these headers are pretty cool. I kind of like these. These headers are awesome looking. So let's set that to the side, pull the next piece out. The, uh, the next thing out of the box is, uh, is gonna be the uh, rear seat, uh, front seats. Nice tunnel ram uh, right here, manifold. That looks great. Uh, got your carburetor uh, plate right here. Uh, two halves of your, uh, looks like a old Muncie transmission right there. Uh, got you, uh, also got the, uh, got a tunnel ram uh, uh, scoop be to go on the hood. Uh, nice looking, that's a nice looking rear end right here. Uh, as far as it looks like a Dana 60, uh, that'll, that will, uh, possibly can be used in this build or somewhere else and pulling out the next one here. Uh, the next sprue, same thing. Uh, you got another transmission. So, uh, got your roll bar, got a set of racing buckets right here. Uh, what else we got? Got another hood scoop, got another rear end. Uh, so optional two rears, uh, for this thing, throw that over to the side and we're going to pull out, uh, what else we got here? Let me set this to the side. Uh, got the, uh, this is the front, uh, portion of the engine, uh, bay. You got like a, got like a frame, uh, that, uh, right here for the, uh, uh, coming off of the firewall, got you a set of, uh, got you a separate set of heads. Uh, that looks like the, uh. Uh, that looks like where you, the, 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 uh, hinge assembly for the, uh, tilt front end fan belt and just got a, uh, just a generic, uh, Chevrolet dash here. We'll put that right there. We've got the chrome tree that's already come out. Uh, uh the chrome, uh, it's, you know, it's chrome. Uh, it's not the, uh, nothing to write home about, but, uh, here is where I'm starting to see, uh, yeah, well, eh, like I say, leaves a little, little bit to the imagination. Got a great looking set of valve covers right here. So, uh, got a, a diff, uh, got a diff, differential cover right here. Now these uh, uh, these center lines that they send with these uh, with this kit, this is great. This is a great. These are great looking set of center lines. So if y'all looking to put a set of a uh, true looking uh, center line wheels on any of your builds, this is a good kit to pull them from. You know, then front and rear buffers, things like that. Uh, got a chrome uh, scatter shield bell housing right here. Uh, got a, like a, this looks like a solid axle front end. So got you a set of ladder bars here. So uh, looks good. I'm gonna put that over to the side and then we're gonna jump over into the, uh, the box some more and we're gonna pull out the instructions. Uh, I like the, uh, tell you what, let me open up the decals first. These, uh, these decals, man, these are, these are great. If you like flames, now I like flames. I love flames on a lot of my builds. Uh, these would be some good ones, uh, for this kit as well as for other kits that might be out there. And then the, uh, the, the side, um, the side stripes right here, this is very reminiscent of, uh, back in the, uh, you know, the late eighties or the early 80s when uh, we were all putting, you know, the real colorful stripes down the sides of the car. So that's very reminiscent of back in the day. And these are the flames are back, you know, pretty reminiscent of the, of the uh, you know, the late 60s, early 70s when everybody was doing flame jobs on them. So uh, just, you know, great looking little decals, uh, decal kit here for that. We'll put the cover back on that and drop these back <clears throat> down in the box. We'll open up the... Uh, uh, the instructions, which I, I don't hardly ever read, but I do like to go through them. Gives you a little history on the uh, on this old car right here. Uh, talks about the uh, tubular subframe uh, and the uh, you know I got the big block Chevrolet wrap motor in there, which uh, was very popular back in the in the air in the era. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, uh, Ravels give you know. <coughs> Uh, Ravel is part, you know, they're starting to, you know, give you uh, color choices here in the front like they always have. 
but they're also telling you the part names, which are you know of each number of parts. So that's awesome. We get up to the engine assembly here, and uh, we just you know if you got uh, looks like you got some options here of different things. Uh, looks like you're just doing a tunnel ram here for the uh, for that. Uh, for that engine, then you get into your interior. Your interior has uh, uh, two different types of interior. You got the uh, just the generic, you know, stock in uh, seats for the front or a set of racing buckets. So you can do either one of those. You got a choice of a roll bar, things like that. And uh, we'll keep flipping on over to the tire assembly. It shows you how the Getting on up into here as far as uh, this, like I said earlier, they got like a, a straight axle front end on this. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, flip, finishing it on out, coming in, doing the, uh, you know, as far as the uh, suspension, rear suspension, uh, putting the ladder bars on. And then coming on out, uh, finishing up with the uh, this flip front end, you got, uh, you got your choice of two different hood scoops. Uh, again, you can do like the snorkel type or you can do kind of the bubble type. And uh, getting on into, and here's the side pipes uh, that uh, could be used as well. Uh, shows you the paint, exterior colors as far as what, you know, if you're doing the, uh, if you're doing kind of the side stripes and everything for a two-tone. And flipping on over, if you want to do a solid color and then do a, some, you know, some awesome flames on that, that's what that rounds out as well. So, but uh, my take of the kit is, you know, it's it's a it's one it's a good kit. I'm I'm not, you know, it's uh, one that I've been wanting uh, here. Uh, I always wanted the uh, the the monogram uh, version of it. Uh, hard to find, but now that they've got this one repopped, uh, Revell's repopped it. It's a uh, you know, it's uh, it's one that uh, you know you can do a lot with this. Could you know would I do a kit bash with it? Uh, you know, with Pro Street, yeah, this would be a good uh, this would be a good one uh, to Pro Street. Uh, just doing different, uh, you know, taking parts and pieces from other uh, kits and incorporating it uh, to a Pro Street. So, but that's where we're at right there with that one. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. If you got any questions on this, drop me a, feel free to drop me a line down there in a direct message and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Folks, remember if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Pappy out of here.